we're out of the garage now. We're fully geared up, ready to mount the bike. So we, last lesson, we talked about all the little switches, the primary controls and the secondary controls, what they do and how they operate and where they are in your hands. Every limb has a function and a job to do, right? So we learned that. Now we're going to learn how to mount it. And this is where, again, the bike's 400 to 500 pounds and, and it's heavy. And it, if you lose balance, if you fall over, you want to be protected. If the bike lands on you, you want some boots to, so you don't get crushed. And if it falls over and you hit your head, you're going to want a helmet and all that. So I'm ready to rock and roll, right? The first step to mounting your bike is identifying where your kickstand's at. So most bikes, I'm going to say all bikes, the kickstand's going to be here on the left. Left side of the bike. Right side for you right now. So this is our kickstand. This is where we're going to mount the bike because this is where... If you are putting pressure on the bike, we're putting it on the inside so the kickstand is going to take all the weight. To mount the bike, what you're going to want to do is approach from this side. And then we've already identified our clutch and our brake lever, so we're going to go ahead and pull that front brake. Right now we're in neutral, so if I were to pick the bike up and try to mount it, it can roll around because I'm in neutral. So that's why holding onto that front brake is important because while you're mounting it, you don't want the bike having a mind of its own and walking away from you. So that front brake, bike is solid. It's not going anywhere. We're on the side with the kickstand. So what we're going to do is while holding that front brake and hands on both handlebars, we're just going to swing our right leg over and I'm sitting on it now. Now the bike, see my, my right leg is still kind of up in the air. I'm not touching the, I can't, I can't really reach right now. So um, what I'm going to do is put my weight on my left foot and then use my thighs and pick the bike up. Now my right foot is on the ground. And from here, this is where I have all the control. The bike's not on the kickstand anymore. So what I'm gonna do now is pull the kickstand up and the kickstand is now up. We are still holding that front brake, making sure the bike can't walk away from us. I'm gonna go ahead and release that front brake, take my hands off. And this is where you're sitting on the bike. You are balancing it. Have a conversation with somebody sitting on your bike like this. 30 minutes, an hour, make coffee, just have a whole conversation with somebody right here because what you're doing, it's kind of boring to sit on your bike, but you have to understand that the bike is 400 to 500 pounds and right now I'm controlling it with my thighs. But when you're first getting familiar with your bike, if it were to tip over in any direction, you have to know when, when is too much, when is too much lean because this bike is heavy. If I get past this point right here, I'm not going to be able to hold that weight anymore. If I get past here, I'm not going to be able to hold that weight anymore. So understanding that the bike is here, the bike is straight up and down and pretty much I've got all of my control is with my thighs and I'm light on my feet and you can just sit here forever and just learn your bike, get familiar, bond with your bike a bit. This is your bike, right? All that being said, you can sit on your bike forever, but we need, eventually we're going to have to dismount the bike. Dismounting it is just the same thing as mounting it in reverse. So the last thing we did was take our hand off the brake. So that's going to be the first thing we're going to do now. We're going to hold on to that front brake. Bike's not going anywhere. Now, the next thing is to put the kickstand down. So we're going to use our heel and pull that kickstand down. Now, the bike could lean to the right when you're doing this. So making sure that you have weight on your right foot while your left foot is negotiating that kickstand. And when your kickstand is down, make sure that, let's say you put it down, but it's only this far down, right? If I were to pull the bike in, it's going to snag and pull that kickstand back up and it's going to fall over. So when you pull the kickstand down, make sure that you can lock that guy forward. Make sure it's not going anywhere. Now, front brake, kickstand. We're going to slowly ease the bike over onto the kickstand until all the weight is on that kickstand and my right foot comes off the ground. I can, I can sit here forever now. Bikes, I'm not in control. The bike's just leaning on its own. So next thing to do, once the bike is on its kickstand, holding that front brake, we're going to stand up and swing our right leg over. Do a little final inspection of everything looks good. Bike's situated, everything's good. I'm gonna release that front brake and you can walk away from your bike. 